Namaste, welcome to my channel GoGlides. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a completely disconnected, year-gapped OpenSIT cluster using the Asian base installer. This is perfect for environments where there is no internet access, like secure labs, defense, or enterprise data centers. I will walk you through every step from creating a local mirror registry, setting up a proxy, mirroring OpenShift and operator images to finally deploying the cluster on KVM virtual machine. If you are working on an ear gap setup or just curious about how disconnected OpenShift works, stick around. This one is for you. Before we get started, let me give you a quick overview of what we'll be doing. We're going to break this down into multiple parts. Follow this medium block. First, we'll set up a local mirror registry using Koei and make it ready to store OpenZip and operator images. For this, we're going to follow these particular sections. This is the exact step we're going to follow. After that, I will show you how to mirror OpenZip to release images and operator catalogs using OC mirror tool. Then we'll configure a local proxy server to simulate internet access for cluster bootstrapping. This is what we're going to follow. For that, I will going to use a squid. And the next, once the images are in place, we'll configure our Asian base installer and deploy the cluster on KVM virtual machine, all without needing internet access using that local registry. Finally, we'll validate everything, apply ICSP and catalog source, and make sure our cluster is fully functional in disconnected mode. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to replicate the entire setup in your own environment. So grab a cup of tea, get your terminal ready, and let's dive in. One thing I really want to highlight before we jump in, I'm doing this entire setup on a single bare metal machine. That includes everything. DNS server, Squid proxy, local query registry for mirroring images, KVM for virtualization, and the OpenSIP cluster itself with four virtual nodes three masters and one worker. So if you have just one powerful bare metal machine, you can follow along and build a fully disconnected OpenShift cluster from scratch. No external dependencies, no cloud, everything self-contained. All right, so let's get started with local mirror register setup. And here are some of the prerequisites. You need a rel 8 or 9. I'm going to use rel 8. You need to install Podman and open SSL in that particular box at least 400 gigabyte of free DEX space. I'm also going to mirror a couple of operators. So prefer size is one terabyte. That's what I need. And I'm going to use a DNS server bind for that purpose. I already have installed in that particular box. And you have to create this FQDN entry ahead. Otherwise, registry installation process will fail when you try to log in especially. And you need a valid pool secret as well. For this one, you can click on this link and get the valid pull secret, right? So this is what you can download. Once you log in, you should be able to see this and copy pull secret from this. The next process, we have to download this mirror registry. For this, click on this download center, or you can go to that and navigate to this download section here as well. Search for mirror registry, and this is the mirror registry, and then download that mirror registry from that one. So you can copy this link, and this is the same link we have here as well. You can simply copy this curl command and then download that in your jump box. All right, so let's log into the box where I'm going to set up this. This is where I'm going to download everything. Let's move on to workspace, YouTube, click on that here. I'll call it mirror registry and inside the mirror registry, or let me create a folder called tools and then just download that link here. So it's downloading that mirror registry. It's going to take some time. Once this is done, simply extract this file. All right, so download is complete. Let's extract that file. Everything is extracted. So if you do tree here, you'll see all the star file, SQLite, there is a mirror registry, and then execution environment file as well. So you have to run everything from this folder itself. Otherwise it will not find these dependencies and then it will fail the installation. Next, copy this section from this blog, and then let's go back to the terminal again and simply paste that here. All right, so it will install the installation process now. It will take some time. So detecting the local host installation and also make sure this DNS is resolving. I already have a entry created for that in the same name server. So let me show you that as well. As you can see, this is already pointing to the same machine. So if I simply ping it, then you should be able to access it as it is. All right, so it's doing the job. It's running the bunch of Ansible. 
script and doing the installation. The installation is complete. Now we can validate using this curve command. You should see output like this one. You can also see port one ps and look for all these containers, registry, run, radius, and infinity. Let's log into that registry using port my login command. So I'm going to use login u minus admin minus p password and then authentication file and registry.balki.ocp local. So it's complaining about the certification validation, which is okay. What we need to do is we need to copy these root pane and simply override that values. I'll call it yes. And then run command update ca trust. And let's try to run that login command again. Now it should work as it is. So we have to copy this same certificate to OpenSIP cluster as well later so that it will not complain about this certification error. All right, let's open this port using firewall CMD, which is already enabled, and then you have to reload it. So technically I should able to browse this registry now from outside as well. All right, so all of this stuff is mentioned in this blog as well. Now, if you go to this registry URL, let's see if you can access from outside. You're seeing this is connection is not private. And then that's your login URL. Now, if you go to your installation command, we have passed that init user as admin and demo password. So let me try that here. And you should see this one. Initially, this should be blank. I have cloned all these images already. That's the reason you are seeing it here. But I'll show you the process how to mirror these images as well. Next, we have to set up a pool secret. So for these, click on this link, copy the pool secret. And then I have mentioned steps here in this blog as well. So step five, login and set up pool secrets. So what you need to do is let's follow that instruction. Let's create a file called pool secret.txt and then paste that value here. Now this file has that value. Let's copy this file, pool secret to docker config.json. Let's override that values. And then do parman login. This will update this file, this particular file. Login succeed. Now, if you cat that file, you should have all of these registry present inside. So that's the completion of first part, setting up mirror registry. Next, we're going to mirror all the images required for our OpenSIP clusters as well as operators. That's it for this video. I'll see you on next. Dhaniwa.